is I am so excited because today is house viewing day. I actually feel really, really sad because we actually put off this house viewing because I was super ill last week. So it's been transferred to today. So today is the day we're finally viewing houses and I'm so sad because I literally just got a call and one of the houses that was meant to view today, which I actually really, really liked, it was a five bedroom detached house, three minute walk away from my sister's house and it's already been sold. The properties are honestly like flying off the shelves at the moment and it makes me feel really really sad because you have to act so fast and I'm not a fast actor -er. it just makes me feel like I'm so like slow and I can't make up my mind I'm just hoping for that feeling of like oh my god this is the one you know and then the last house that we're seeing today is the piece de la resistance it is at the top end of my budget but the house is just so beautiful the owners have actually put in like over 100k worth of furnishings and they have really done up the house with like heated floors they have speakers inside of the ceilings with surround sound everywhere the house comes with like top spec everything so i'm definitely going to be looking at this house today with heart eyes because it just looks like so amazing definitely gold it has everything that i want and really really close access to london as well the only thing is for the price it is semi-detached and you guys know that i'm after a detached house that is my goal especially with like the budget that we're working with i honestly feel like we can get a detached house also guys i'm so so upset you guys know in last week's vlog i showed you guys this house that was being built we was actually going to look at a show home this saturday that was really really similar to the one that was being built so we was waiting for saturday to make our decision and then they literally called me yesterday and they were like i'm so sorry someone has already put down a reservation for that house and i'm like no no i was so close that was literally the dream house it was a five double bedroom detached house massive garden four bathrooms it was just so amazing but i guess it just wasn't meant to be and it makes me feel really really sad that i didn't act faster and i keep thinking about that house i guess we just have to just stay positive and you know it just taught me now that if i like something i need to kick up the bum and like put some action into it if i actually really really like it okay guys so we just came back from viewing my sister's neighbor's house and it just wasn't nice yeah it was pretty small and it looked really dark and dingy i think it didn't made a really good impression once you walk through the door so you know when i mentioned to you earlier i really like houses when you walk through the door you can see the garden straight away and it just looks so open and airy i don't know what they did they just closed off the door and it looks like you're walking into a little dungeon a hellhole also they made a conservatory at the back but it literally ate into probably 60 percent of their garden and they had like just a little small space outside and you know they were an older couple so for them it might have been great but for me i want like a hot tub i want somewhere to do like barbecues and it was up for really really high as well for what i think it should be selling for yeah you don't know about the market prices around here yeah my area is expensive okay <laughs> okay guys so we just arrived to the second house and first things first the driveway is just freaking crazy so something that's really really weird first off the bat is that the driveway is shared with like someone else so look at their driveway and then our driveway's here also another thing that I want to note is when you're viewing homes and especially you're putting your home in on the market it's best that you present it in the most open light, open all your curtains, open all your doors, make it look nice and airy, make it feel like it's inviting basically, not freaking all closed off and I think it's less furniture, less clutter, the more likely you're going to please your buyers. You say that but your house is clutter as hell. Well. Organised clutter, yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's cluttered. <laughs> okay, guys, so as soon as you walk in, you see this massive space, loads and loads of lights, which is exactly what I'm after. It's such a shame that inside is so nice, and when you look outside, it just doesn't really match. The person actually made this for their daughter. I wish I could have a daddy like that, okay? But I love this kitchen. It actually stands out so well. Online, it didn't really look the same, but when you see it in real life, it actually looks really nice. and. I like the fact you can cook here, wash up here, you've got a little view while you're washing up. And I also really like this worktop as well. It's like nice and fresh. It looks so cool. Good for a hot tub over here. Look, look at this little power supply over here. I quite like this guys. There's a fridge here and then a freezer over here. And then inside of here, there's a whole utility room. 
with a little toilet. It's got a washing machine, tumble dryer, and then this is. Oh wait! They can run in the garage. The garage is fake. It is a little bit disappointing that we no longer have a garage no more. You know, I was hoping to get this stuff as well as a garage. Uh, this is like a good size room. Built-in closet space. Okay, so this is the master. Oh no. That's a view I do not want to look at. Some of these feel so small. I know this is the average size of an ensuite, but I don't know why this one feels tiny. Oh my god guys, so I just finished looking at one of the houses that's on like the top of my spectrum and it was so beautiful! We couldn't vlog because there's like kids inside of the property but if I could have showed you this house on the vlog I think everyone's jaws would just be <laughs> dropped on the floor. It was so beautiful. The space is like amazing. 3,000 square 3, foot. 3,000 square foot. He's built sideways, upwards and it's just big it was a I big you now. big daddy big bertha for sure and the kitchen was just everything that you wanted a kitchen and more by folding doors there was three floors the bathroom the ensuite guys just the ensuite alone will make you just want to buy this house the person that viewed the house just before me already put it off on the house so it makes me like sweat even more have a think about it i guess what do you I think need to think about it is a lot of money i think call your finance advisor and find out okay. how much it would be for the mortgage for this price and i think good idea this is why we need to have a little logic brain over here <laughs> guys i'm full i'm gonna cry i don't know what to do i feel like i want to really put an offer for this house do you feel like I'm rushing it? Is it what you're meant to do? Just look at a house and just put in an offer? I don't know. <laughs> Is this happy tears or sad tears? I don't know. I feel so confused. No, you don't need to be confused. Mm. When she went through the door, I could tell that she really liked it. I could tell that it is everything that she asked for. It's really high spec. Very clean, sleek. I think she's just having loads of self-doubt because she's like, can I maintain such a beautiful home? And it's such a big responsibility to take on. Have faith in yourself, girl. You can do it. <laughs> oh, Chanel is like, yes, bitch, you can do it. <laughs> I really like it, but the price bracket is really top end of our real budget. When I've done the crunching, I'm like, hmm, it's realistic. You can still afford it, you know. What I pay for my house, they're only adding another 500 pound on top and you earn way more than just a 500 pound on top of mine and i'm on basic wage <laughs> oh my god guys we're gonna put in an offer for this house what the wow give them an extra zero there extra zero it's okay <laughs> submit offer ah we just submitted an offer oh how exciting oh my god i'm gonna, I'm gonna cry oh, how exciting oh did you get the feeling this is gonna be my home when you went in though. It was like, I can't ever afford this place. That's what I saw when I looked at it. Aww. Oh boy. This helped me. <laughs> oh. 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 I am so proud of my sister. You can achieve anything. You are the breadwinner of the house. <laughs> Everyone's like, yes, sir, we had a birthday. We're like, ooh, yeah, wait until this wheel burn like enough to eat. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry, guys, I'll take us to the top. <laughs> I'm so upset because I couldn't even take you to look at this place. If our offer does get accepted, oh my God, you're just going to have the most jaw-droppingest vlog ever. Who would have thought after a week of me being so ill on my dying deathbed that the next day, I'll be looking at such an amazing house and putting it on fucking offer. Everything's white, sleek, modern, clean cut. Okay, so we need to explain a little bit about the backstory of this house. So it wasn't just a normal estate agent showing us around. It was actually the owner of the house. He put his heart and soul into this property and you can sense that feeling of love and care and passion about this house the way he expressed the way he explained every single item that belonged in the house you can tell he it was very well thought out and he put so much effort and time and energy and you can see it's well loved every design aspect he thought it very thoroughly and even 10 years ago he was very forward thinking 
in the way that it's a smart home, everything is designed technology based where the speakers would speak to the Wi-Fi system. He's incorporated all the electricity, the wires and everything that's hidden inside the walls. So everything is a lot more advanced. Let me just hype this house up to you guys a little bit so you guys get excited with me because I feel a little bit, not fraudulent, but I'm really sad that I didn't get to take you to my first viewing. I wish I was allowed to vlog my first ever impressions of this house because as soon as you walk in, you're like, wow, like there's speakers inbuilt into the ceiling, in bit onto the walls it's got cctv all around the house it's got heated floors everywhere it's got mood lighting so basically there's spotlights all over the house and with a touch of a button you can have it set to like just this corner just this area and there's like different moods and he's designed it in a way say the dining room seating is in the middle if you want it just to highlight just the dining room space it's there he's also designed it in a way where there's spot like where if you put a painting behind it the spotlight shines on the painting so it makes it become more alive and also other things that small little features that i love i love niches and this is something that i've been watching a lot of diy projects on how to create niches i didn't so, even know what a niche was <laughs> and now i have a house full of niches <laughs> yeah so basically you know in bathrooms they cut a hole inside the wall that is deep inside the wall where you can put ornaments in so you don't have a shelf you have an inbuilt shelf it's so beautiful and it makes it look so modern and sleek and he's had this built in and I just thought, man, you got taste. Yeah, it was so nice. And the most amazing thing about this was the kitchen. When I show you guys the kitchen, it is high spec everything. What is that brand? Michelle, I think it's called. Even that sounds fancy and I can't <laughs> even pronounce it. She's got her own built in Michelle coffee machine. Yeah, and I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like come? And also, Tui's always wanted like, a double fridge and she's thinking oh i need to go and buy that separately i like the big open fridges if it could be inbuilt it would be fantastic and this was a perfect solution it was don't you think perfect yeah. it was so nice and then not even that we wanted an ensuite guys but this is just no ensuite this is like a full-on bathroom hotel attached to my main master bedroom and i just it's like a it's got a jacuzzi in it, guys. Jacuzzi! Yeah. A massive suite. His and her sinks. And then also a floating toilet, guys. Chanel can't wait to run around Aww. everywhere. So Grant had something really exciting that he wanted me to whip out the vlog. It's been such a good week this week, hasn't it, babe? It has. So exciting. So basically, Grant is so into trainers. You guys see he has a whole wall full of trainers and yeah. he does this thing like every couple of weeks there's a new launch. There was these trainers that he really wanted to get and apparently it was so rare. It was a Nike X Dior collaboration and can you believe that he won a chance to buy these trainers they are so rare there's only 8,000 made around the world actually 5,000 of them actually went to friends and family only so there was only a handful available to the public over 4 million people signed up for a chance to buy this pair and Grang actually won okay here she is guys Dun, 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 dun. To all the girls out there, you probably won't even recognise how monumental this is. But I'm pretty sure any sneakerheads or anyone's boyfriend that's watching this right now, you guys must be like, ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Here they are, guys. The Jordan Air 1 X Dior. To me, it just looks like any other trainer, but apparently... This little night tick means so much. It is so rare. We were so scared actually leaving Selfridges because apparently people were getting boxed down trying to steal this package. Oh, uh, wow. Do you on the other side? Oh, my God. These are definitely some fancy trainers. This is the 3,000... 614th pair out of 8,500 at the front I don't know if you guys see but it actually has Dior in the tongue and it also has Dior insoles so fancy so yeah we just want to take a moment to document how lucky Grant is you need to start entering the lottery if you're this lucky normally babe you guys don't want to know the price tag of these though 
and what they're reselling for. God damn, that'll put down the deposit alone. <laughs> Hello, I have a full face of glam today with some contacts in. It's been such a long time since I've actually got ready and I can actually leave the house, guys. Whoa! Normally I'm like taking off my makeup, but today is actually my sister's birthday today. She's turning 35. So I've actually planned a surprise dinner for her. So I've booked a private little igloo for us to have dinner and apparently has amazing views as well. We're gonna be celebrating my sister's birthday and also celebrating the fact that I put in an offer for a house. So it's gonna be a really, really exciting night, guys. I woke up in a really, really good mood today. So I literally cannot wait to just celebrate with my sister. She's been with me through thick and thin and I just can't wait to just spoil her and let her have all the food that she wants. We have the birthday girl here. Hi guys, yes, birthday. I'm so thankful I have siblings that take me out today. <laughs> yeah, so she has no idea where we're going, but we're going to go pick up her friend. And guys, my zip broke on my dress. Well, no, you can't zip it up whatsoever. The muffins over quarantine has caught up to me. She's got the corona curves. We're trying to flatten the curve, but she's making more curve. We're literally right next to the Tower Bridge. And it's such a nice evening. So, you're gonna have dinner in an igloo tonight. Oh my god, I'm excited. Just so cute. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Okay guys, so we are in a little igloo and it's so freaking pretty. The sun is just setting, so it's literally like perfect. Are you excited? I'm so excited. The food looks amazing. The scenery's out of this world, guys. I like, know. I would highly recommend you come in here. It's uh, very different. I've always wanted to dine here. Having a chance to go here during my birthday is so special. I know. So I, I say thank you. I said this place would be so nice for like a date or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So Unfortunately, romantic. the date that I have is a girl. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they just got me cheeses, all right? The starters just came out. So I'm so hungry. I can't wait to dig in. Yeah, so nice. The food was really good, wasn't it? Food was really good. <laughs> Everything I am so literally quick. stuffed to the brim. I just want to say thank you for this. I had Aww, such a nice time. Yeah, I'm so glad you liked it. Also, had such a good view as well. Literally just behind us, the sun was setting. It was like so nice. So yeah, definitely recommend. Such a memorable experience. I mean, I've always wanted to go here. Definitely, it's worth checking it out. Beautiful scenery. Beautiful people, beautiful surrounding. Yeah. Food was really good. Good food, good drinks. So we need, really. <laughs> this is how good dinner was, guys. I had to take my belt off and then the side of my dress split apart. I was enjoying myself a bit too much at that dinner. But this vlog was just so overwhelming, guys. I feel like I felt a million and one emotions. Never in my life would I ever thought I would find something so quick in my house searching journey and just fall in love so much that I can go home and put an offer on the same day. Like that is just so crazy and so wild to me. And for the last couple of days, I've been second guessing myself I mean an ring whether I did the right decision but every single time I look at photos and stuff and I'm like oh no I really really do love this place so I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the offer we're currently going through our mortgage advisor trying to get our official mortgage now so every penny counts honestly thank you so much to every single person that's watched an ad up to this point I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I feel like we're doing this whole buying a house thing together and I literally can't wait to show you guys this house. It's honestly so beautiful and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's smooth sailing from here. It's been such an emotional ride, so any type of support you can show me in the comment section just to lift my spirits and sharing your story would really, really help. So I look forward to reading all your special lovely comments and that's it for this week's vlog, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Uh, oh! Oh, my sister's so annoying. Are you making your way out? Okay. Yes, I'm making my way. Bye. Wow, guys, look at all these bees. They're busy being. Busy being. Ha, you guys get that? It's got a dishwasher. Oh, not a dishwasher. It shows how much clean I do, right, guys? <laughs> look at the scary roads we have to drive down to get to this house, guys. Oh, my God, I'm shook. Oh, my God. 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 Jesus Christ. 
what do you do in this situation? A big ass tractor. Saying that he spoke to the owner. Uh, owner. 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 Also, if you guys like this makeup look, keep your eyes out for Wednesday because I filmed this makeup tutorial. <laughs> and I then blue eyes. Blue eyes, white dragon. Who remembers that? From Yu Gi Oh! That's like my inner tomboy coming out. Tired, sweaty, and it's Whoa, so fun. You are clammy. <laughs> I haven't played games for like three days, mate. How can boys say that they're tired and then they go and switch on their game console, which you play for another two hours, and you're tired? I'm tired of you. How about you go wash your sweaty crack?